What's up guys, Genesis King here, and today we're going to discuss the first building that you should build at the start of your next Stellaris game. If you're new to the channel and you're looking for more Stellaris tips, tricks, and videos, Stellaris playthroughs, as well as other sci-fi related content, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you don't miss a thing. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. So, first things first, I would advise your first planetary investment should be to build a district. Generally speaking, I would say that this should be a generator district, as energy is usually the first resource that starts to be used up and becomes scarce. Once that's completed, I usually go with one of three options, depending on my playstyle I'm going with and the goals of my playthrough. Those buildings are the Alloy Foundry, Unity Building, or Research Lab. Let's take a look at each of these options individually, starting with the Alloy Foundry. Alloy Foundries will give you plus 6 alloys per month, which is a nice early boost to your alloy production. I'd advise going this route if you're looking to play wide and expand rapidly, or if you're planning on starting an early war. Having the alloy production to replenish your ships should give you an advantage in this early war and will also allow you to spam outposts, assuming of course you have the influence. The second option is building a level 1 unity building. The base unity building will produce 6 unity once fully staffed per month. Depending on what type of empire you're playing as, the name of this building will vary. You want to go this route if you're looking to rush a certain tradition tree, like discovery or expansion early in the game. Getting through your tradition trees quickly can give you an advantage over your neighbors and allow you to snowball that much quicker. In addition, unity buildings produce 6 society research per month, so you aren't completely abandoning research early in the game. Speaking of research, the third option is building a research lab. The research lab will give you a boost of plus 8 society, physics, and engineering research once fully staffed. If you're planning on playing tall, this is the route that you're going to want to go. If you go with the research lab, you have a tech advantage over most of all your neighbors in the early game. In my experience, if this is the route you choose, you can almost guarantee that you'll be superior tech-wise compared to your neighbors for at least the 50 to 100 years of gameplay, depending on who your neighbors are and how you advance your empire after that point. If you're smart, you can use this to your advantage. So, which of these three buildings is the best route to take at the beginning of the game? Personally, I think the research lab to start the game is the best route to go. But what do you think? Which of these buildings do you usually go with as your first building? Or is what you start with even on this list? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Stellar's tips, videos, playthroughs, and other sci-fi content. Good luck with your next playthrough, and I'll see you all in the next video. Later, everybody.